today is Wednesday, and it's a beautiful day in Virginia. So, I just dropped Philip off at work, as you probably have seen in some of my videos that I I go to drop him off at work, come home. Sometimes I go shopping and sometimes I don't. Not today. Just thought I would come on here and have a little coffee time with you guys outside where it's sunny and I'm not all up in your face. But yeah. Coffee time. McDonald's best coffee in the world. Well, I could probably make a better one at home and probably much more healthier, but, <sighs> you know, when you got them lazy days, you just don't want to. Sometimes McDonald's coffee can be a little too strong, so I put extra ice in mine. So, let's figure out what we're going to talk about today. So, in my head, I have a topic I want to talk about, but I don't want to because I don't want to um, offend anyone. But, you know what? I think um, this is only to, so you guys get to know me and who I am and stuff. Um, so, last night, I was confronted by a lady supposed to be a lady but you know what i don't think so she was gorgeous she was beautiful she was really thin i mean she's she was the type of woman that if i was you know like the same sex hey she's beautiful so yeah i i mean you know but i am not that way but if i was it would be she was beautiful just put it that way and for the record, I do I do not have nothing against people that are like that. Um, but anyway, she wanted to Snapchat, supposedly a she. Now I'll tell you why I don't think it was a she in a minute. Um, you know I've been putting my makeup on like usual because, you know, even though people say I'm pretty, you know I decided. You know, just to put a little makeup on to make, you know, make my videos a little bit better. And so people don't think I'm a natural slob. And I'm not saying people that don't wear makeup are slobs. I'm saying I feel that way. I feel, I feel ugly with all my insecurity things on my face. Yeah, I do. Sometimes I feel that way. And I'm not saying everybody. But anyway, let's get to the story. I'm going to try to talk slow, which I'm slow as it is, but, you know. So, the girl, before the girl messaged me, I have two Facebooks. Um, and one Facebook is for others to add me. And the other one I, is an old one um, that I had. And I added people, and they didn't seem like they wanted me on their news feed. So, I just, that's my main account. But the other one, the new one, is the one that people add me, and I add them back. I do not add people myself. I let people add me. But I will check your account out. And if it's uh, where it looks fake, I won't accept you. And if I have not talked to you before... Or you will not communicate with me. I will not accept your friend request. It doesn't matter. You know. As long if we've talked before. On YouTube. Or Instagram. Something like a Snapchat. Then you're. I'll accept it. But. Other than that. I'm not doing it. I mean you know. But anyway. Let's get to the darn story. God. Spit it out Lucy. Okay. Um, so, I was on there, and I was talking to two different guys on the new account, Facebook account, 
And yes, Philip knows that I have guy friends. I really don't have guy friends. It's just, that's just how guys are. They they see a, a pretty girl and they think she's easy. And they're like, hey, I'll talk to her and I'll blah, blah, blah. She'll talk to me. She'll come talk to me. Come meet me. No, not happening. No. My husband means too much to me to meet somebody like that. Anyway, so we talking and stuff, and they're trying to get pictures of me. And I say, I said, you already have a picture of me. And, and they say, where? Where do I have a picture of you at? On my Facebook. That's, I mean, all my pictures are on there of me. If you want to see my pictures, that's my face. That's what, But you don't want a picture of my face, dude. You want other pictures. And honestly, if I was going to do that, I would sell the pictures. Yeah. I would put them on OnlyFans or something like that. But I ain't, I'm not I'm not to that point yet. But I'm not saying that people that do it are bad. Because, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and yeah, I say you should make an honest living. And I'm not saying that's not. But if you can get a job and, you know, people accept you for who you are and what you look like and stuff like that, then uh, go ahead, you know, go get this job. But don't just do OnlyFans because, you know, it's an, you know, extra income, you know, you don't, just save it for somebody else. But anyway, we go into that. He wants a picture. I'm not, I tell him no. I said, you know, I, I'm married, you know, and I'm happy. So then, um, he stops talking to me, um, after that, and then later on that night, um, Philip came home, and a girl messaged me, and I'm telling you, it's a girl, she was very beautiful, um, she was separated, supposedly, she had, like, she, I'm not gonna describe her, but I'm gonna say she's beautiful, so, she says, do you have Snapchat? I said, yeah, I do. Anyway, so I, Philip says immediately, accept it, okay? So go add her on your Snapchat. So, I did. She added me back. First of all, she made a mistake because... Um, what kind of person, first thing they get on there, they send you a picture of their self. Her face, now she did, her face. And then she sent, I sent her one of me. Philip said it was okay for sending a picture of my face to her. And so I did. And then it got more personal. She said, may I save your photos? And I didn't think nothing of it at the time. Um... I was like, well, okay, you can save my face. I don't care. And so she saved them. And um, then she was too perfect to actually be someone that wanted to talk to me anyway. But anyway, um, she kept talking. And she wanted, she wanted other shots, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm not willing to give you those shots. So if any of you are wondering, I'm not. I will go on the internet and pick it out and I will craft it and send it to you because I'm not having my body parts floating around YouTube or Facebook or on the internet period, you know. So I did that and immediately after I said that, she, she called me the B word um, she said, you think I'm stupid? I know, I know that is not you because you're thicker than that. And she said, um, come on. She said, don't, don't do that to me. And she explained the girl that I took the picture from on the site. So this person knows me, okay, knows me. And cause you know, either, you know. 
knows what my body type is. And she's like, this is not you. You look much bigger and blah, blah, blah. She said, and I like that. And she continued to call me names. Okay, first of all, I don't think a girl would call me a name at first. She would probably sweet talk me. Men have a problem with if you deny them of um, favors, if you may add. They want to call you names and say stuff about you and break you down and see what's going to happen. And they, they want to blackmail you. So, ladies, young girls, do not, do not let them get anything over on you. Do not send your body to them. If, if you, for any reason, if you notice, like, they tell you they're working and stuff and they're Snapchatting you... And every time, like, you go to message them, it takes them, like, half the day to answer you. It's because they are married or they have somebody. Unfortunately, it's true. Some of them work. Now, some do. But some of them don't. Okay? they lying to you. They're not being honest to you. They have... If they're asking you for those type of pictures of yourself, they don't respect you. They think you are nothing but meat. And that's awful. And, you know, I have a couple guys, even though, you know, that like me. But I, I tell them, you liking me for the wrong reasons because I'm not that person. I'm not that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not her, you know? I don't go around here, and I'm not... All women should respect themselves. Even men. Men have it probably happened to them, too. I don't know, because I'm not a man. But I know for myself, I don't go out here asking men for their body parts. I, I mean, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Just saying... Not to be insulting, but that's true. But, like I said, it doesn't excite me for a man to ask me for my pictures. Because, one, I'm not confident enough. I don't like showing my pictures like that. I don't mind taking a picture of my face, but taking pictures of my body, um, it's unnecessary. But that was my topic of today. And I'm going to leave this to the talking part of my video. And I'm going to upload that part, this part, in a separate. And I'm going to do a cooking video later. It's going to be talking part and then cooking. So you'll get cooking together. That way it won't be so long. It'll be chopped up and you can choose to watch it. Yes, I have one hand painted, one not. I'm going to fix that. But... That's how I want to do it. And if you guys think that's a great idea to chop it up, please let me know so I know what to do for you guys. I'm doing these videos to entertain you guys and stuff like that. Today was a little more serious topic. I really think that girl was an actual man because um, the guy that was talking to me before, he... uh wanted a picture and I wouldn't give it to him so he went and he made a fake account on Facebook and as soon as soon as I flip, flipped on to uh, snapchat he deactivated that account because I went back and he he removed his messages girls he removes the messages because he is with somebody and he he's lying he's a liar okay He's a liar. I hate to keep saying that, but that's what that is. Do not do that. I only was messaging her. I did message her a picture that shouldn't have been messaged. And I admit that. But, you know, 
like I said, you seen one, you seen them on. I, I ain't talking about below the belt, so don't ask, don't, don't even think that. That did not happen. But I just want women to be aware, and it's not just women. It's uh, men get violated too. I've never violated a man though, cause I'm not that darn confident. Good God, really. Really, Fleabag. I could see myself now over there trying to harass a man. Right. They want it. <laughs> they don't want me, but they would want the harassment. <laughs> I'm not saying they want me. I'm saying they want the harassment. Some men don't, but most young guys do. Most young, young guys want the uh, attention. I call them male W words, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be clean about it. But, yes. Well, I'm going to stop talking about that because that's not a positive comment um, thing. But the reason why I talked about it is because I really want, want the girls in this world to understand that you are more than your body. You are much more than your body. You have a brain. You're smart. You're beautiful. You know, you don't have to do that. And as soon as you realize that, a lot of women would do it because they have low self-esteem. Um, I know I do. And <laughs> I make mistakes just like everyone else, you know. Um, but... Like I said, I didn't do anything that my husband doesn't know. And if he didn't know about it, I definitely wouldn't be making this video because he watches my videos. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. And I'm going to go and make my video, um, my cooking video later. But I'm going to upload this way before the cooking video. So we can chit chat about it all day long. I love you guys, and please stay safe out there. Don't let no man or woman take advantage of you just because you want attention. You want attention, please message me. I mean, not that way, but you know what I'm saying? Like, message me, talk to me. Talk to somebody that's going to talk to you about sense and not your body parts. Alright guys, see you later. I love you.